So we are on unit nine, which is our final unit. Um, we'll finish up this week or next, depending on how fast you want to do these, these last few things. So at the end of a project, um, a lot of times we'll have what they call uh, a demo or um, for a game, maybe a game release party or a press conference or something where you're going to um, do a presentation about your game. So how do you present your work to others? When we spend a lot of time designing and writing code, then um, we also spend a lot of time explaining our work to others. So a lot of my time at work is spent explaining time what I do to um, what I've done to for other people. Um, no matter what kind of job you're in, if you're writing academic papers in college, then you're going to be spend time explaining that to people, um, and that's definitely part of. Uh, programming too. So sometimes we'll explain to other people on our team, so our co-workers. Sometimes we'll explain to people um, within the same company but who aren't really on our team, so we'll explain to outside our team. Um, a lot of times we'll explain to non-technical people. So in my job that will be a manager or an executive or a salesperson or somebody else who doesn't spend all day um, writing software. Um, so, can you explain your code to someone else? So, um, there's a couple of different ways that uh, we explain to technical people. Um, a lot of times that'll be called a code walkthrough or a code review. It could be formal or informal. Um, if it's formal, then a lot of times it'll be called a code review. If it's uh, informal, then maybe it'll be called a code walkthrough. Um, and so in your code walkthrough, and this will be for me and you, so in your code walkthrough, um, we'll do a little introduction um, that has the name of your game, the title, or sorry, your name, um, the title of your game, and then the story behind your game. Um, so, you know, just kind of pretend like I'm another programmer on your team, and you want to show um, what this game is about and what you've been working on. And we'll practice all of this stuff. Um, I know it sounds like it'll sound like a lot when I talk about all this stuff, but um, um, that's what this week is about: is um, how to easily put together these things. So this is the order that we'll do them. Um, that we'll we'll do the so we'll do a walkthrough, and then we'll, later we'll do a presentation. Um, but then the, um, I'll show you um, how we're going to um, break it down and make it uh, easy to to put everything together. All right, then um, play your game a little bit and talk about your game while you're playing. Um, just, you know, as if I haven't seen it before, so we're going to introduce it to me. And then we'll bring up the code. And so you have to go in and show how the code is organized. What was pre-existing and what did you fill in? Um, you may think that um, it's kind of cheating to, um, you know, because they gave you the template and then you, you a lot of times just change functions. But that happens in real life all the time to me. Um, either um, I'm, I'm updating code that somebody else has written or um, a lot of times, you know, I've been working for a couple of months and these people have seen earlier versions and then in the last two weeks I've made some changes and this walkthrough is just about those changes. So I'll say, okay, um, if you remember from last time, um, here's what, you know, here's what the code looked like. So here's what I changed this time. Um, so point out the design recipe in all of the functions. And then, um, you know, have a little bit of extra, like, what functions changed the most, um, and what functions were the hardest to change, um, took the most time, um, were harder for you to understand, um, or kind of mistakes that you made, like you thought maybe this would work, but it didn't work, and here's why, because as I'm walking through code, I do that a lot of times, where... Um, you know, because a lot of times these people may have similar problems in the future or may have to look at my same code and I have to say, okay, okay, I thought this would work because a lot of times they will think the same thing. And then I tell them why that didn't work in this situation. Then we'll also do a, 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 a presentation to other people like Mama and maybe Nina and Papa. 
um, where we'll create a poster for your game, and that'll just be a piece of paper. Um, a lot of times in my work, we'll call this a one pager. You just want to fit as much explanation as you can onto one page. And so I'll use a one pager sometimes for a 30 minute presentation, sometimes for an hour. Yours is just going to be five minutes um, where we'll give out these um, one pagers to the audience, and then you'll spend five minutes walking them through. So your, your poster should have your name and the title of your game, a picture that will help to catch people's eye. You know, it can be a screenshot from your game, um, would probably be a good thing. The story behind your game. A written description of one function from your code. Move my thing up there. Um, or some concept you learned and how that is used in your game. Um, such as you could explain circles of evaluation or piecewise function, or the Pythagorean theorem, and then say how those are used in the game. Or you can have a description of one of the functions from your code. And we'll, we'll this week we'll go through all, um, you know, how you write those things up. So once you've created a poster, think about how you'll use it during your presentation. What will you say to the audience? How can you use what you've written on the poster or in the code to help with your presentation? So yeah, we'll walk through your poster as your presentation. So your presentation will be five minutes in which you walk the audience through your poster. And then you could ask for questions uh, if people have any, and then let people play your game. And then now it is time to celebrate. You did a great job this semester. Um, you learned a new programming language. You learned about circles of evaluation. You learned about data types like numbers, strings, booleans, and images. You learned all about functions and values and conditional branching. Remember when we used cond or if. You learned about the design recipe and contracts for functions, um, which we'll also call signatures for functions. You learned how to generate computer graphics and you put it all together to build a video game. So you did a great job. Um, let's uh, do this last part where we'll do this demo, um, which is just, it's part of programming is to discuss with other people um, the work that you've been doing, uh, show it off a little bit, let them know how hard you've worked um, so they can see the value in what you've done. And um, also you'll get a lot out of um, doing this presentation and, and and I'll help you a bunch this week um, to make sure that your presentation um, goes okay.